One year living in Singapore and I start to feel like a Singaporean more and more every day. It has been one year since I moved from Zurich, Switzerland to Singapore and here are some habits that I've started to adapt. Number one, Singlish. I could have never imagined using Singlish in my daily life because when I heard this for the first time, I couldn't understand a word what people were saying. And now I realize that I start to use words like can or la, shiok, le, xia, like, daily, especially when I text with friends. So when someone would ask me, hey, do you want to come over at six? And I'm, I would respond by just texting can instead of saying, yes, yeah, sure, I would love to. It's actually very time efficient. So can is definitely a word I use every single day. Number two, hawker food is life. And that's exactly what I mean by it. I cannot imagine living without hawker centers anymore. For those who don't know, hawker centers are food stall where you get cheap and affordable food and it tastes delicious and it's mainly Asian food here from Singapore. So I don't even dare to say it, but I think I haven't cooked a proper meal in like a very long time, a year. I don't know, I cannot even remember. So we cooked pasta one time. We went to fair price to get all the groceries. It cost us around $18. We cooked the pasta and we were really disappointed by the taste. And then thinking of a chicken rice down the street for $5, which tastes just a lot better. I really cannot imagine living without Hawker Centers. I also realized that a lot of people outside of Singapore don't know about it, that these exist. So when I talk to friends in Switzerland, they don't know what hawker centers are. And I'd be like, oh, I went to like Newton Hawker last week. And they're like, what is Newton Hawker? So I really forget sometimes that people don't know about chicken rice, for example. They don't know this dish, that this dish exists. So this has definitely become such a big part of my life. Number three, also related to hawker centers, the chopping game. Chopping is when you go to a hawker center and you want to reserve a spot. You just place your umbrella or your keys or whatever you have to reserve the table and then you go and fetch food. In the beginning, I really felt uncomfortable because first I thought, is someone going to take it away? Or is someone, does someone think I'm rude to, to serve this spot and then just, well, not waiting at the table? But now it has just become such, such a normal thing. I enter a hawker center, I place my tissue on the table, I go and fetch my chicken rice or something else and I come back and I have my seat. Number four, shopping malls are not scary anymore. And you might laugh, but I have such a bad sense of orientation and shopping malls would really scare me. I got lost in eye in shopping mall so many times, but now I can say comfortably that eye in mall is not that scary anymore. And I remember taking a detour for around 10 minutes walk. So just that I don't have to enter eye in mall and take the, uh, the underpass to the other street side. And now I really feel comfortable taking the underpass and I know exactly where to go. And um, this has become such a good, such a good adaption. Related to this is that I don't have to use Google Maps so much anymore. I can comfortably say that I would find a way to Chinatown without using Google Maps, something that a year ago seemed impossible to me. So I use Google Maps less and less every day, which I'm kind of proud also, but shows me that I really start to feel at home here. Number six, spicy food tolerance. People in Singapore like their food spicy. And if you order food, they ask you for additional spice. And usually I would say, no, thank you. Uh, I cannot take spicy that much. Um, but now it, that really changed. I like my laksa or also my prawn noodle soup with a bit of spice. So I sometimes even add um, additional chili to it, which I think, yeah, that's, that's a new thing. Number seven, you don't care about the weather forecast anymore. I would check weather forecasts in Switzerland every single day. Is it gonna rain? Is it sunny? How warm? How cold is it? In Singapore, it's 30 degrees all day. So all day, 36, 36 five days of the year. And also the weather forecast for rain isn't accurate. So it shows rain every day, but it doesn't rain every day. And I just can't be bothered to look at it anymore. If it rains, I have my umbrella in my back and I'm just, I just go with what it is. Number eight is related to the weather as well. So you totally forget what season it is or even what month it is because you don't have any seasons. In If you have summer, winter, fall and, and spring, you can tell, okay, it's April now, like temperatures are getting warmer. Here, 
I don't know if it's winter or if it's summer. I can only tell from, from winter decoration and Christmas lights that it's probably gonna be December and Christmas soon. Last but not least is staying on the left side of the escalator. And this has, oh, I've been struggling with this for so long. So in Switzerland, you stay on the right side of the escalator and people walk on the left. And in here, it's exactly the opposite. I would like stay on the wrong side all the time and like people would probably get annoyed by me. Um, but now I can say that this has become a habit. I go to the left side directly. That was it. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.